Hey, good morning, everybody. Danny Shea. Hope everybody's doing well. Hanging in there. Second day of the impeachment trial. Woohoo! New video. New video. Never seen before. What more do you need to see than Jamie Raskin up there crying? Crying. Uh, it's unbelievable. But anyway, we're going to get through this. It's all going to be what it is. Um, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be 100% um, to our satisfactions. It'll be where it is. Um, Georgia is filing a, uh, an investigation into Trump's antics. So I'm going to look into that a little bit. But anyway, business first. Thank you all. Um, for my existing and my new subscribers. I'm so honored to have y'all here. Hope you find some fun in this. Um, hope y'all caught Nina's in my live, little impromptu live. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> one, of the, one of the comments says, you work better with other people. Well, she's right, I do. And how can you not be better working with Nina? You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, I used to in the beginning, uh, not in the beginning, but kind of in the middle of this journey. I think I've been on YouTube for a year coming up. I got to look. Anyway, um, I used to send out healing thoughts and energies. And I kind of stopped doing that. And I don't know if that's appropriate because so many people are sick. So many people have lost their lives. So many people have been in the hospital. I know in, in our circle, in this circle that we have created, um, there, there's been a couple of people that have gone into the hospital. Um, when I talked to, I talked to a friend of mine and he's, uh, he had cancer, I didn't know. He had a trach. And I worked with this guy a lot, did a lot of diving with him. Yesterday he got the trach out and I'm like, Whew, good. He goes, he was scared crapless. I was gonna say shitless, but crapless. And, um, but you know, he's better, he's moving on. Um, I asked him if he wanted any healing prayers, love, light sent his way. Yes, and I think that's important. Um, if people don't want to be fixed, don't fix them. It's their journey. It's not mine. So anyway, he did ask for it. So um, if you guys want to send some energy out to Todd is his name. Anyway, um, and as we go about our day, if you just want to take a second and deep breath and just throw some energy out and just, you know, even if they haven't asked for it, you could just hold them in space. All right. Um, let's dig into this crazy, crazy trial. Um, you know, it, it's just nuts. So I want to know, does Donald Trump, and I don't even like saying his name, but does he, does he enjoy this? Is he like going, woohoo, my name's in the papers. I mean, he's always, you know, a publicity houndish type person. So is he enjoying this or is he just like freaking out over it? And of course, when it's, you know, a question this serious, I have to use the Halloween deck. Because he's so monsterish. <laughs> he's so baddie. And Georgia, oh my gosh, Georgia is, did I say this before? I've started recording this two or three times and I find I'm yakking too much, like now. But I just looked up and it said 444, so I guess I'm gonna just keep this one going. Um, Georgia is doing an investigation in, into his election meddling. Yay! I 
think that's going to have some teeth. Ew. Make Donald Trump grimace. Ugh. <laughs> when I did that, I just flashed on I love Lucy when she'd go, ugh. <laughs> All right. Does Donald Trump like deep down? Not during the day. How could he how could he like his attorneys? I'm surprised I didn't read that they were fired. What the hell was that? Donald Trump and his attorneys. Did 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 he pick a um a, an ambulance chaser? And and I'm being serious. I think one of his new attorneys is, you know, is um what do they call those? Um besides ambulance chaser, personal injury attorney. <laughs> Does Donald Trump, does Donald Trump enjoy this show? Is he going, this is kind of fun. Look what I did. Is he enjoying that? Ooh. Is he the knight of imps? Let's just keep going. Oh. Balancing his two pumpkins. You know, and I used to call him Mr. Pumpkinhead. Remember? Ace of Pumpkins. And he had all the stuff coming out of his head. Like all candy and stuff. Is he balancing two different sides of his I love it, I hate it, I love it, I hate it? I think so. Let me drop this down so y'all can see a little better. Whoa. How's that? Can y'all see that? Is that good? We good? I think so. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Frankenstein's bride. The Empress is at the base of this. This is um, in many different decks for me. This is Russia. So is Russia at the base of this looking up at, at Mr. Pumpkinhead's juggling act? Ooh, nine of ghosts in the back. In the past, this is the nine of ghosts. He's got nine ghosts behind him. I'll just, hey, we got your back, buddy. We got it. However, this nine of ghosts is upside down. I'm thinking his protection may be gone. And we have the page of imps, which was reversed. So when I look at this card, I feel that, um, that his new ideas, his new, you know, his, his rolling with this make America divisive again. <laughs> I was going to say great now. Nah, I'm not going to say that. Um, but his divisiveness, his, his plan, his fire, his passion is upside down. And also his backers are upside down. Certainly, certainly uh, my pillows backers are upside down. I just got an email from Move On saying, let's get Mr. Pillow out of Costco. He's probably sleeping on aisle four. In the potential near future, five of pink pumpkins. You know, any way that you look at this Five of Pumpkins card in any deck, it ain't good. I don't care what those smiling pumpkins say, it's not good. Oh, look. That guy dropped his bag of candy and he's all sad. So, I'm not going to go on with this too much because. 
So basically, what I'm seeing with this is that Mr. Pumpkinhead, although he's trying to, is he having, excuse me, is he having a good time with this? You know, he kind of is in a way. He's trying to balance between love and hate. Oh, I really like this. As my name's in the paper, everybody's talking about me. And then, whoa, I got some legal stuff going on that's going to make my hair stand on end. Um, <laughs> just see him with his wig floating in the air. I think Russia is is not happy with him. The Nine of Ghosts, his protection is not there. His passion and followers are leaving and he is super sad, Five of Pentacles sad, losing money, losing projects, losing a lot of stuff. So even though he likes it, yeah, it's a little too scary for him. So, not going to look into if he's going to, well, yeah, let's do. <laughs> let's do. Um, I'm just going to throw a couple of cards. Well, that one came out. Queen of Swords. Uh-oh. little digression, if I may. You don't want that swords popping out of the deck when you're talking about maybe some legal issues. You don't want that. Just saying. So, are the Republicans going to bail on Donald Trump? There's two different ways they can bail. They can, you see how I'm itching my nose with my cards? That's wrong. Ooh, that hurts too. Um, they can get 12 Republicans to say, see ya, get out of here, we're impeaching you. Or, and I think this is true, they could just not show up these Republicans. I think this is a sham. I'm not even showing up for the vote. I wonder how that will go over over their supporters, their MAGA supporters. Um, and they'll spin it in a way that it'll make sense. But then Trump can be impeached. So um, let's just do three cards on each one of those. All right? Will enough Republicans in, come over to impeach Trump without skipping the vote. Let's just see, will there be enough Republicans coming over to impeach Donald Trump? Will there be enough Republicans? Entertainment purposes only, don't don't go to Vegas and bet on this. But if you do, five on black. All right. Well, Donald, there'll be enough Republicans to come over to impeach Donald Trump. <laughs> Tell you what, if he keeps having his attorneys go like he is, yeah. All right. Will, will, A number of Republicans not even show up for the vote. How many Republic that popped out? How many Republicans will not show up to vote? These cards popped out when I was shuffling. Let's drop it down. Y'all can see what I'm looking at. All right, so <clears throat> we have the three of coins. 
they're back there talking about this. They're working on something. And then you have the chariot moving on, taking a direction, going. But this is two different directions again. So it's it's like that it, it's, it's the two of pentacles in, in the Halloween deck. Two pumpkins going up and down. Which, which, which way do we go with this? I feel like that's the energy of these two cards. Will enough Republicans impeach Trump? There's the star of hope. There is their challenge, which is the Ten of Swords in their back. So if they impeach Trump, they're going to get stabbed in the back and they're going to have to defend their actions. So if I was to say, is that a yes or a no? Well, what would you say? They're being stabbed in the back. They have to defend themselves. There's the star rising out of the dark, inky blackness. I would say yes. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be easy for them. They may not be reelected. They're going to have to defend themselves. And what about will Republicans just not even show up? Like I'm thinking, you know, the, the fine um, Republican Lindsey Graham. <laughs> what a sham. We have balance, temperance. We have the tower. That's always a good card. And it is. It's not a bad card. It's just mean that whatever they have is crashing down on them and they have to start a new journey. There's just something new coming out of this. And it's the ace of wands that's coming out new. But it's reversed. So if they're bringing balance to this quick change that they're seeing, this Ace of Wands, which is bringing, it's like, you know, going to beat you over the head with some information, which I think they already heard <laughs> with this trial. And it's it's upside down. So does that mean that the news was not positive? It was just so bad. This is also in this deck, it looks like a double edged sword. So that indicates to me that their truths is upside down. What they thought they were going to um, win with, they're going to lose with. These, these six cards are very challenging for the Republicans. Very challenging. If I were to bet, I'd bet five on black. If I were to bet, I would say Democrats have a really good shot at impeaching Donald Trump. It's not going to be easy. That's just what I'm feeling. You know, and it's, it's, uh, yeah. Let's look at Georgia. Georgia. So there's some new, le so if, if Donald Trump does get impeached, that he's not going to jail or anything. I don't think. I'm not sure how that works, but Georgia is looking into um, this election interference. You know what? Before I get there, let's just pull a couple of cards. Let me pull another deck. I'm going to use the Rider weight because it's here. Um, when I was watching, you know, some news 
feeds yesterday with with um, Trump's attorneys. I'm going, what, what the hell are they? What? I, mean, I would do a better job. Pull some cards. No, look, Trump is innocent. I'd use the pumpkin deck. <laughs> Would <laughs> Senate impeachment trial. Here's the bathrobe tarot using a pumpkin deck <laughs> to defend Mr. Pumpkinhead. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's funny. All right. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Well, your your honorable senators this is my defense see it's the eight of pumpkins we've got a good case here eight of pumpkins okay georgia whoa queen of wands came out who is that queen of wands who is that Queen of Wands? I tell you what, she pops out a lot. Is there a woman in Georgia that is, besides Stacey Abrams? Could be Stacey. So what, uh, give us a little hint as to what's going on with Georgia. a little hint what's going on with Georgia and that's interesting because as I'm shuffling I'm thinking what is Trump thinking about it is he worried about it um, but let's just look at Georgia looking into this election interference and it's just not one I, th I thought I saw there's two like bodies like the AG and then somebody else or anyway what's going on Georgia Georgia into Trump Interference. Someone's, um, there's an offer that is being made. Was that Trump? Let's find these missing cups. Come on. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> A little bit about some money. Completion card. Queen of Pentacles. The Empress in giving and receiving. Oh my gosh. I think that. W oh, so let me kick these over. There we go. Um, it looks like Trump made an offer to somebody giving and receiving. Um, to change the world, to to have Trump be, you know, the the top dog. This is like my Russia card, though, giving birth to something, starting, you know, just the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in the past. The Queen of Money. Somebody who is powerful who knows how to deal with money does not abuse it though and the Empress up at the top this doesn't feel like Russia to me it feels more connected with this Queen of Pentacles card <laughs> this feels like one of Trump's minions trying to offer something To complete his election victory. Let's just keep going. Georgia, King of Wands. External features coming in as a winner. The Sun card. And the final outcome is the Two of Pentacles. And this this to me, so he's got the world here. He's looking at, whoops, 
kick all this down. I keep looking up at the screen. I go, oh, you're, you're off. He's looking <clears throat> at his world. And at the base of the reading is the world. So, oops, and fears the sun. Let's do one more. So we were talking about Georgia, Georgia. They are coming up with a plan and it does involve the Empress. So the, the, don't be surprised if we don't see some Russian influence in this case. Georgia's working really hard lining up all of their ducks in a row, so to speak. The hope is that, obviously, that they're going to win. External factors is they're coming in as a winner. And internal factors, internal influences, is this King of Wands energy. Just reviewing everything, looking at everything, knowing where the information, uh, laying out the information in a way that that is going to be successful. At the base of this is, oh man, is they're being a, a little tied up. They're, they're feeling a little imprisoned. I don't know, is, is Trump trying to stop this or or whatever. You have the tower moment, fast moving change, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Boom, Fred Flintstone. So something may happen relatively quickly. These two cards are, are interesting side by side. The Page of Pentacles, slow moving Knight, and the Ace of Wands, the big Fred Flintstone card. These two cards are interesting. Feeling restricted with the, with the um, Eight of Swords, a little imprisonment type thing, and then lightning hitting the tower and people are flying out all over the place. With this base, I get the feeling that, you know, an impression that Donald Trump may slither through again. But there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up. A lot of stuff. All right. Um, here we go. So, that's that. But as we, as we leave this 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 table <laughs> let's um you know i really don't think it's good to be like so focused on the news and and all of that uh, it doesn't help us um they're not giving us anything new it's um you know we need to work on our own light which is why I'm going to be using the Work Your Light Oracles. So let's just pull three just to try to get through this because, we, you know, it, it's the Senate's job. It's the Democrats in the Senate and it's the Republicans in the Senate to complete this trial. It's, it's not our job. We can have an interest in it um, because it's our country. Um, but we, we can't get up, caught up in all their lies that, that in spin. So what do we need to focus on as we work our light? What do we need to focus on? And I hear it's our community. And it's just being not combative. 
leave that to the to the combatants. <laughs> so what do we need to what do we need to focus on? This is a double card. Trust the niggle. <laughs> I love it. That, what's that niggling feeling trying to tell you? That is so perfect. Look at all the dark storm clouds and, and the, the shadow people behind us. We're in color, we're in healing light. The shadow people, maybe not so much, but look what they have in their hands. They don't need healing, they have it in their hands. They're offering you this little light. So trust that and double. Well, this is about, I think, should I turn on the TV? No. <laughs> Wait. Postpone. Pause. Say no. So you have all of the, the lightning around us. And you don't need to look at it. Just take a couple of deep breaths. I, I like this card more and more. You look at her third eye, you look what uh, she is holding. The people in the background are shadow selves. And the last card. Hmm. This is great. It's the tower a little bit. The crumbling, what are you holding on to? We just hold on to this dark energy so bad and we feed it and we allow it to keep growing and growing and growing. We got to let it go. Got to move on. Got to focus on the flowers here. The flowers not the lightning because the center of the path is beautiful the edges are a little eh, I don't know awesome okay I'm gonna leave it all there whoop, whoop. okay so thank you all for watching um, thank you all peace and love